Hello, my name is Greg Crinklaw and I'm the developer of SkyTools. And we're looking for a few good beta testers. In particular, at the moment, we're looking for those who use the ACP Observatory Control Software. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the quickest possible tour of what SkyTools can do for you. And we're going to start with what's called the Target Selection Tool. And I have this set up for February 12th using iTelescope T21, which is located at New Mexico Skies. I've already set up a lot of things here, filters and so forth. We have the good old Messier list loaded, and it has been filtered down to show the 60 best objects for this night. I'm going to go up to here, and I'm just going to sort by quality on this night. We see at the top here we have good old M81 and M82. This blue line here tells us the overall imaging quality during the night. and You can see that this is probably the best night of the year to observe these galaxies. So I'm going to go ahead and select M81 and I'm going to create an imaging project. I'm going to assign it to my generic observing program. Things are already filled in here for iTelescope T21. It's a general purpose imaging project. Um, this is all pretty straightforward and generic. So I'm going to move on to the Composition and Tiles tab here. There are two faint galaxies near M81. I'm going to nudge this up here to the left to include them. So when we take our image, it will be centered right in here somewhere. If this was a large target, like the Andromeda Galaxy, I could set up a series of tiles here to cover the whole thing. But we're just going to go ahead and use a single tile or a single frame here. Next thing we're going to do is set up our exposure goals. I'm going to do this by signal to noise ratio. And I'm going to expose for the main extent of the galaxy. And I'm going to have a goal of an SNR of 30. And we're going to do a basic LRGB color image. And here we've got it set up for bin 1. This column here is telling us that compared to the luminance, the red filter is going to take 3.6 times as much imaging time. The green filter is going to take 4.4 times as much imaging time. And the blue is going to take five times as much imaging time to reach the SNR of 30 that we wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trick. I'm going to go in here and customize each of the color filters to bin 2. Here we go. We could do other customizations as well. Now they're close to the same amount of imaging time for each. And I'm going to close that and we are going to move to the scheduler and here is already preset up for our same night of February 12th and these are all the imaging projects that I have in progress they're all Messier objects in this test and here is M81 which we just added we notice up here that it's green for most of the night. This is the highest quality that M81 can get. And I could do a lot here, but I'm just going to go ahead and click Auto Schedule. we we'll sit back and wait for a second here. And it has figured out what the schedule for the night is going to be. It's going to start with the Andromeda Galaxy. Move on to M77. Then M78. And finish with M70, uh, with good old M81. I'm going to click uh, the plan settings. Now this is set up for an eye telescope, so it has some additional ACP extensions um, like plate solving and so forth. And I'm just going to add a plate solve, and then I'm going to save the plan. It's already suggested a name for the file, and here it is in Notepad. So that quickly. I've created a plan for most of the night if I had more imaging projects that went into the early morning hours it would have planned the entire night. 
here it is we just use it with ACP what do you think I've skipped over a lot of things here um, there are of course all sorts of charting options and tools for keeping track of events in the sky and ephemerides and so forth if this intrigues you I would like you to consider being a beta tester we have this set up for an eye telescope but what we need to do is broaden it out a bit for all ACP control software users so I would like your help with that I would like you to give me suggestions and ideas on how to make this work for you